All right, we've been doing our, uh, trying to grow our little plants inside the house. Um, you know, getting them ready for the gardens outside. And uh, one thing that we've noticed is that we've got a lot of little tiny gnats, little bugs. And uh, anyway, we've been doing a bunch of little plants here. And, uh, you know, getting them going. Tomatoes, um, squash, cucumbers, beets, peppers, all kinds of stuff in here. And uh, got some right there in the chair, in the window, right here on the little shelf. We got uh, two different types of kale down there. We got. <clears throat> um, was that Swiss chard, I think? Yeah. And then we've got some lettuce right here. And some more lettuce up there. And some collard greens. Different squash plants. But uh, one thing we've noticed is flies and gnats coming in here. There's a little coffee plant right there. See the coffee plant? Right there. It's already getting uh, little the real leaves on top. That is wonderful. My daughter gave me that. But anyway, we've ended up with a tremendous amount of little uh, gnats or little tiny flying bugs and also flies. But look up here. See that? That's one of those little plastic strips that we put up there to, to catch gnats and flies. And look at that. Look at those tiny, tiny ones. Those are little tiny gnats. Those things are all over over here where the dirt and the plants are. And, uh, you know, but those little plastic strips don't catch everything. And uh, they're just all over the place. And there's another fly just flew down there. We've, we've ended up with the big, chunky black flies. You can see one over there walking up the window. Uh, those things came from under the house in the crawl space and uh, apparently some critter died under the house and uh, of course those flies have come up by the hundreds we've killed a lot of them we've let a lot of them out the doors and uh, anyway got problems with bugs so uh, my daughter my oldest daughter had one of these bug zappers at her house that she says really really works and my son uh, bought two of them he put one in his room because he's got a lot of plants in his room and uh, therefore got little bugs too and uh, he got us one so I'm gonna open up that box and we're gonna look at it and, and plug it in and see how it turns out and there's the box let me go ahead and open that for you This is an aspect, uh, A S P E C T E K. It says it's designed for you in, in, in uh, www.aspect.com, and there's a telephone number. But that's that's a picture of it. It's got two bulbs in it, and uh, uh, yeah, we got we ended up with two of these. My son already put one in his room. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open this. And, uh, that way we'll be able to see what we got. Oop, I guess it's bulbs. I need to make sure I'm getting all this. Yeah, I'm getting all that. Alright. Good. Chain. So these are the the, the bulbs. The little chain to hang it from. All right, the box is empty. All right.
here's the instructions. Oh, okay, it's got replacement bulbs. So it comes with two bulbs, and then, then it's got re re replacement bulbs as well. All right, so I need to cut that because that's got, got the cord. And there's a note, please turn off the switch for discharging the remaining electricity completely for at least 10 seconds, even though unplugging the wire before cleaning or changing light bulbs. The electronic grid only kills insects, won't cause harm to human body while accidentally touched. Hmm. Okay. So, all right, so this one's the aspect. Uh, oh, yeah, the, uh, the model, the, the 20 watt indoor insect killer model HR292. And, uh, yeah, got replacement bulb model numbers here. So let me get something to flip these off real quick, and then we'll get that thing plugged in. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Figuring out clippers always come in really handy. Get that thing flipped. There we go. So we're going we're gonna to plug this thing in, and then uh, we're going to turn off those, those grow lights. Because the, the, the little bugs, they're attracted to the lights. So, I don't know if you heard that in the background, but that snapping noise, that was in my son's room. And that was uh, little buggies getting into these things. And it goes snap. But you'll be able to see that here in just a minute. All right. Anyway, oh, that is, oh, that's the little tray underneath that catches them. There's a little tray that fits in, you see that? A little tray that fits in right down here. That way you, that it'll catch the bugs, and, uh, and then you can pull that out and kind of dump it somewhere. All right, I'm going to change the uh, thing here. All right, I've put this thing on this little table here. Uh, it's uh, it's within three feet of the uh, the little plants in each direction, maybe four foot in the other direction, but near the big window where I you know, showed you the sticky thing in the window. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the uh, the plant lights, the grow lights, and uh, and then I'm going to turn this thing on because the the little buggies. Uh, they're they're attracted to the light. They want to be around the light. You know that's why they collect in windows, and that's why they get around your your grow lights. So if I turn all those off, of course I can't turn off the window. Uh, but whenever it gets dark, man, those things are going to go for the light. So I'm going to turn off the grow lights, and then I'm going to plug this in. All right. I guess you can tell the lighting is just a pinch different. I still got the light coming in the window. But I turned off the grow lights, and I plugged this in, so now I'm going to plug it on. Or, or uh, actually, <laughs> I'm going I'm to turn it on. And uh, we're going to sit here and watch and see what happens. Oh, there it goes. I'm going to... Whoa! Darn! Got one already. <laughs> I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Oh, darn. Thing scares you, huh? The little buggies love it already. Man, oh, oh we're going to hear popping all night. Darn. Whoa, there we go. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, oh, I saw that one go in there. Oh. Oh. Man, that's great. Oh. Man, that's almost like a fireworks show. I don't know. Can you see them collecting down the bottom? Wow. That thing works good. All right. Man. 
just immediately that thing just the bugs just start flying over there look at that wow I'm gonna zoom in just a pinch Oop, there we go wonderful Whoa. so I'm gonna let that thing sit there <clears throat> I'm going to leave this thing on all night. I'm going to catch all these little bugs and I'm going to... I don't know what to do with them other than clean up when they're done. <laughs> wow. Okay. I guess that's a good review. So far, I'm satisfied. Whoa, look at that. When you're watching it, man, you can see it spark. It's like a big old zap and pow. Wonderful. Well, so far, I'm happy with it. Whoa, look at that. All right. <laughs> cool. I could make an eight hour video and nothing but bug zapping. <laughs> A leisurely evening with bug zapping sounds. All right. <laughs> that is great. I like that thing. I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. I think this thing's doing great. It's, it's doing exactly what they advertised that it would do. It's a, uh, whoop, yeah. So, overall opinion is thumbs up. It's, it's great. It's a good product. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right.